you make your mark on the world deliberately, honestly, and genuinely? This is Love Your Work, and I'm David Cadavy. I'm here to help you cut out the noise to focus. There are a lot of voices out there in entrepreneurship encouraging you to hustle. I really don't like this word, and I think it sends the wrong message about just what you should be aspiring to do in your life and work. One thing you want to aspire to is to not pay too much for shipping costs in your business and to cut down on hassles. SendPro from Pitney Bowes lets you buy and print postage straight from your computer, no special equipment required. Compare prices between USPS and other carriers, get discounted rates, and save yourself a trip to the post office. Visit pb.com slash loveyourwork and try it free for 90 days. After that, you're going to get SendPro for only $5 a month. Stamps.com is $15.99 a month. SendPro is only $5 a month. That's three times the features, one third the price. That's at PB as in peanut butter or Pitney Bowes, pb.com slash love your work. Here's the article. Against Hustle. At some point, it became fashionable for entrepreneurs to hustle. There are podcasts and blogs and books all proudly proclaiming that they are about hustling. Call me old-fashioned or boring. I don't like it. I'll spare you the Webster's Dictionary meaning of the word. I guess all that really matters is what it means to the people who say it and those who hear it. To me, when I picture people hustling, I picture them moving in a sloppy or harried manner. I picture energy being wasted in a histrionic attempt to draw attention to oneself. This drives right to a big problem in entrepreneurship. When someone claims he's hustling, he gives himself a sense of personal satisfaction. That sense of satisfaction can fool himself and others into thinking he's actually doing something. It's like wearing the label of entrepreneur and feeling accomplished for it, the same way you might feel cool by telling the bouncer that you're with the band. You didn't do anything. You didn't earn it. But it feels good. Rather than say we're hustling, how about we say we're deliberately and methodically discovering and pursuing what we can offer the world? Okay, so that doesn't have much of a ring to it. Hustling also conjures up criminal images. I picture the entrepreneur crowded in a circle in a back alley, rolling dice, perhaps busting someone up for not paying at the end of the game. It's entirely possible to make a comfortable living in a completely honest manner, to not have to bust someone up to get them to pay, but to have them actually be happy to give you money for your product or service. Why would you want to connote that you have somehow coerced, deceived, or cajoled others into giving you money? I don't know. When I see someone proclaim that they are hustling, I really just feel bad for them. They've gotten sucked into the chest-puffing posture so prevalent in entrepreneurship today. Everything needs to have a violent or tough connotation to it. You're hustling. You're crushing it. You're even killing it. I believe it's all just a shell. Underneath that shell, besides a vast pocket of air, is just another scared human searching for meaning in the world. Ultimately, there's nothing wrong with it. We have all faked a little extra self-confidence now and then. Sometimes it actually works and we grow to fill our shell. And I can appreciate that making something that matters in this world is really extremely, unbelievably hard. Maybe saying you're hustling helps you withstand it all. I guess I've worn that shell enough times and I don't want to wear it again. Maybe I just want different things since I'll never be a billionaire. But it seems if we would all just stop proclaiming that we're hustling the world would be a much better place. We'd stop living in a fantasy version of ourselves. We might actually overcome our insecurities and fears of realizing that each of us is just another mortal human being. We might look forward to the discomfort of pushing against our hardwired desires to be sedentary. We might take pleasure in honest, challenging work. Our feet would remain on solid ground with no shell to protect us from the elements. Maybe we could plant something there and watch it grow. I hope that article helps you search yourself for what you can do comfortably and honestly without spilling your drink along the way. For more on embracing who you are, listen to Mark Manson on episode 43. If you have to try to be something, then it means you're not that something. So if you have to try to be happy, 
you're basically just telling yourself that you're not happy. If you have to try to be confident, you're basically just telling yourself that you're not confident. And you get this a little bit of this paradoxical thing where the more fervently you want to be something, the more you're just reinforcing in your head that you are not that thing. Again, Mark is on episode 43. Or listen to Sean Stevenson, a three foot tall giant who will inspire you to be the best possible version of yourself. Turning down the noise about what other people are saying, what other people think about me, and really trying to figure out who am I becoming? Who do I want to be? Not, not what do I want to have and achieve? Because have and achieve is never enough. Sean is on episode 73. And if you appreciate all the work that goes into making this show, you can help support it. One way is to subscribe, 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 whether it's on Apple Podcasts or Overcast or wherever you get your podcasts, just hit the subscribe button. Another is to rate the show on Overcast. It's really easy. Just tap the star icon on this episode on Apple Podcasts. Just go to cadavy.net slash Apple, click on write a review and click on the star rating. And you don't even have to write a review. It just takes a couple of seconds. You can also join Love Your Work Premium. You'll get access to episodes before everyone else. You can even get ad-free interviews weeks in advance. And you can get your name or business mentioned in the credits of the show. For details, go to cadavy.net slash premium. That's cadavy.net slash premium. Love Your Work is brought to you by top Love Your Work Premium members, such as Arif Akhtar. This has been Love Your Work, and I'm David Cadavy. The theme music for the show is More Streets, performed by Spider Flower. Love Your Work is a production of Cadavy, Inc.